Hey guys, what is going on? And welcome back to Vroom Vroom Dana. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today, man. I'm so excited for today's video. Got a couple things planned to start the video. Got uh, something kind of kind of cool I wanted to do to start the video. And then from there, man, we're gonna be ripping on the YZ250 and we're gonna be talking about her a little bit more, man. I have a lot of you guys asking what bike I'd recommend. I've been having this since the days of YouTube started, <laughs> or at least when I started YouTube. And uh, pretty much there's one bike that prevails above the rest for uh, many reasons. I mean, obviously there's not gonna be one bike that kind of is the best in every single category but there is a bike that prevails and shines in almost all of them you hey guys welcome back oh just about to flaunt how good my car seat stand was working and then it fell over so we're gonna try again <laughs> we're gonna see if that car seat stand uh, happens to hold up this time but uh i just actually purchased a brand new glock 26 which i was pretty excited about so i came out here uh to do a little bit of pew pew target practice i gotta try to set up a gopro and uh see if we can hit some stuff man i'm pretty excited for it you guys here's my bad girl right here the Glock 26, I put on some Trijicon uh, sights, at least I think that's how you say Trijicon, but <laughs> I put on these uh, Night Glow sights also, so I'm excited to see how this thing performs. I got a little grip extension down, or it's actually a mag extension on there so you can fit the three fingers on, but this thing's pretty sweet, man. I got a uh, Springfield XD40 as well, so I'm really excited to give this thing a shot out here. I'm gonna try to shoot with a helmet on, which it shouldn't be a problem. My arm might rock the GoPro a little bit, but We'll see how she performs. I shot a few into that one. It looks like it's a little bit down left shooting. Might also be a little bit of a flinch because those are the first few rounds I fired. But we got four on the, on the left side and then one right in the middle. And I think... I, I think I loaded, might have been seven in there. It could hold ten. I think I might have had seven, so I think I missed two pretty close right off the off the gate, which is pretty damn bad. <laughs> All right, let's get the let's get the bottom right. All right, that one is definitely a little better. The thing ended up coming up, so I don't know what shots hit below, but it looks like there's probably about three of them down there. I got a couple bottom lefts. We're all over a little bit, but <laughs> we're hitting the target, which is good. Probably, I don't know, this might be, where did I shoot from? <sighs> maybe 10 yards, 10 yards out, almost close to 15 yards out maybe. So I think we got every single one on there. So that's pretty good shooting. here must be from the rain we got I haven't been here since we had the like second wind of rain but had some bushes that came in and kind of screwed it up Thing is so 
dry out here. <laughs> it's just impossible. Look at this. I don't even know where to go on the on track. Crazy how fast everything gets overgrown if you don't ride it for a month. Oh man, dude, it's been it's been too long since we've rode. It's been too long since we made a pretty good riding video, and I got a bunch of weeds in the side. <laughs> I was just cruising too on that part. I was like, that was my first lap. That was like the actual first thing I've done in forever. I was like, I'll just cruise around here, just take it easy. Front end get stuck in that hard as a rock. A little bit of break, wash out. Just man, dude, it's it's hammered. Like summer's coming, the dirt is gonna be absolutely brutal. I mean, we don't get no more of that nice rain dirt no more nothing's gonna be wet anymore unless this so happens to turn into a little bit of rain but it's been looking a little cloudy out for the last few days and hasn't done anything so not gonna keep my hopes up <laughs> YouTube I pretty much had a general question at least a question I see an absolute ton in the comments below from the first video to the last video so I kind of hope this does a little justice for what you guys have been asking on what bike you should get or what bike I recommend and from a from a starting point if you haven't ridden before and you're like hey vroom vroom or hey Dana what bike should I get since I just started getting into riding Honestly, man, that all lies on you. I would go do your own research, talk to somebody at the dealership. I mean, as long as they don't try to swindle you and saying, oh, hey, yeah, your first time riding, you need a YZ450. You know, it's hard to, to answer that generalized question of a good starting dirt bike because I don't know your height. I don't know your weight. I don't know if you had any experience in the past before because you could you could go anywhere from you're a kid I mean maybe you're super super young watching my videos and a PW50 would be a perfect starter bike maybe you're a little bit older and a TTR would be your perfect starter bike maybe you're older and you could even go up to a CRF 150 YZ250 even potentially up to a WR or a DRZ I mean there's so many there's so many factors into going in to buying your first bike that it, it would literally be impossible for me me to answer a generic question of saying oh this bike right here this is perfect for everybody <laughs> I mean like if I went out and said oh, okay a YZ250 is the perfect bike to get started on or maybe you watch a video about somebody saying the perfect bike to get started on fool if you're like seven years old you're not probably gonna want to be hopping on that bike you're gonna kill yourself so the best bet in finding the the, the perfect first bike for you would be doing your own research kind of researching your age group and, and going from there man that's upsetting that was a uh, pretty quick ride right there my tires already going flat I pumped it up before I left because I was like, oh, that's weird. My tire's a little low on pressure, but I was like, oh, I haven't ridden in a while. Maybe just had a slow leak in it. But from already riding, the riding we did today, it's probably already lost like four pounds, five pounds of pressure. So that's not good. There is one thing I'll say when it comes to probably one of the best, if not the best motorcycle ever made, and that's the YZ250. I don't care if you rode other bikes in the past, I don't care if you're looking to upgrade for a bike, I would always, always highly, highly recommend a YZ250. From my experience in the past, they're they're practically bulletproof. I mean, I've never had a dirt bike. I've ridden pretty much everything, man. As a kid, I've had Yamahas, then I had Suzuki's. I even had a Honda for a brief period of time. I had a Cowie for a while. I had a KX250 that I actually really, really did enjoy that bike, but I didn't have long enough to really put it through the absolute abusive phases that I've been through trying to become a better rider. <laughs> and and the one bike that's kind of stood out to me has been the, the YZ250. I mean, I've had 
so many hours on these bikes and so much abuse on these bikes abuse that like 99.9% .9 of the people who ride will never put a bike through I mean I've thrown them down cliffs I've ratcheted them down cliffs I've thrown them into holes I've I pretty much abused them to the maximum point where you think they would break and they've held up every single time I mean I've never had anything but like absolutely great experiences from a Yamaha and and the, and the cool thing about the YZ 250s is since like I think it was 05 is when they changed to the aluminum frame that was pretty much the last significant update a Yamaha has had unless you consider like fork tubes or forks or whatever suspension they've done over the past like 10 15 years unless you consider that to be significant this bike motor wise has been the same and there there's a reason why the motor has been the same and the bike has pretty much been the same for so long because it's pretty much dang near a perfect motorcycle the part about these things is that everybody has pretty much had a yz250 in their lifetime so if you ever needed a spare bike spare parts whatever whatever the occasion may be there's so much things online either if it was new off of a motorcycle like retail store online or if it's from a used craigslist ad offer up ad whatever the occasion may be online there's so many listings for yz250 stuff full bikes part bikes parts whatever the occasion may be you could pretty much find absolutely everything down to the bolt online that's a huge thing for me man i've had a 2011 yz250 and then this one right here is the 2015 yz250 and the fact that all the parts are interchangeable is huge to me man like everything you could practically change in between both bikes and the fact that that's a thing is really 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 nice because not only like i said there are abundance of parts since so many models share the same exact parts that if you were to break something on your bike and you needed it asap say you have two yz 250s you can make that switch oh man this thing is rutted you can make that switch almost instantly or like i said before you could go online and find maybe an older or a newer newer model of your bike and get it solved that way obviously the yz 250 isn't going to have electric start it's not going to have some of these bells and whistles that you would get on a motorcycle but you got to remember all those bells and whistles come at a price not only is it going to cost more to fork out right off the top but all these things could practice also go wrong on your motorcycle so you can you're gonna have to be buying maybe a new battery you're gonna be have to buying these little parts that could go better over time which adds a cost uh, to the actual motorcycle So when you're looking at a new bike and you're looking to purchase a bike, I always tell all my friends, even if they've had bike problems or whatever the occasion may be, I always, always recommend this motorcycle just because of, like I said, how abundant the parts are and how good of a bike it's been. This thing is, this trail's hammered. Oh man, I stalled it too. This trail is absolutely destroyed. Oh my God. I can't even see where I'm going now. Oh, that was exciting. <laughs> hey guys, unfortunately I gotta cut the video short because I gotta do some tire repairs, but at least I got a video out of the way where I could tell you guys my personal recommendations when it actually did come to somebody who's had a little bit of experience on a bike and why I personally believe the YZ250 is probably the best bike that's been ever made just because of how cheap it is to fix which is another thing you could build a top end for like 200 bucks. You could build an entire motor for 350. If you had newer four stroke work or four stroke work on an older bike, that's gonna set you back like two to $3,000. So there's some things to think about you guys. If you want something practical, if you want a bike that's pretty much bulletproof, can hang with all the newer bikes and it's gonna be cheaper to fix, there really is nothing better. Everything's so overgrown out here. It's freaking absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> I'll end it right there, man. If you guys got any questions or things I didn't go over in today's video, just comment it down below, man. I know it's kind of a shorter video and it's kind of a rush talking video, but stupid tire had to go flat. So just let me know down below if you guys got any questions or anything, or if there's anything you'd like to be answered or maybe a bike recommendation down below. Yeah, at least I could give you my two cents. I mean, I got experience with a lot of bikes, so I could try to get you guys, at least to my knowledge, 
the thing that I think may be best for you. I mean, obviously there's gonna be other bikes that might suit you better than a, a YZ250 or a 250 in general. So just leave the comments down below. So thank you guys so much. You guys are absolutely amazing, man. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Drop a like on the video. I'm just gonna be over here weed whacking everything because everything <coughs> is absolutely destroyed out here. I think I just swallowed a bug. So thank you guys. You're amazing. And I'll talk to you on the next video. Deuces, my friends. Oh my God, that was sketchy. <laughs>